studying uh, graphic design uh, originally in Finland uh, but right now I'm an exchange student in Spain and uh, studying uh, somewhat the same or the fine arts here and uh, one of the reasons I started to do this blog was actually that it was uh, about uh, one course and the one course in here I have to make some kind of a blog and I thought that why not write video blog because I have a normal blog already and uh, this is my dear friend uh, Erno. He's uh, quite uh, silent because he's most of the time very drunk. And but sometimes he's uh, helping me with this, uh, uh, giving especially different kind of point of views about life and and things that are being done and what I should do. Uh, he's my sidekick and uh, sometimes uh, also part of my blogs. However, uh, I think I want to tell in this first one uh, a little things, little three words, some things about them, and uh, these uh, three words are connected to my interests, what kind of things I want to talk with people and I want to have a conversation with about, and, uh, and uh, these are the three words. Let's go to them. Many people have said to me that uh, you are an, uh, such an artist. So, now I tell you that yes, exactly you, you are an, such an artist, you are an artist of your own life, because every one of us is an artist of own life. Uh, how we are creative is just different thing. Uh, maybe not everyone is painting or drawing uh, just like me, of course not. Some people make music, okay, if you don't do even, do even that, you still can be creative many, many, many ways. No, don't just think about it. Something belongs only to artists. It belongs to everyone. And the uh, problem, in my opinion, is that uh, in this uh, so-called uh, Western civilization, so-called civilization, uh, we are concentrating too much uh, to the outcome of the art, like the painting, like the song, like the dance, whatever it is. Uh, it's always uh, worship the outcome. Uh, which makes people to think that I can't make so good music or so good uh, painting or drawing or anything that someone else. And uh, even that's not the most important point. In my opinion, it's the process. What happens when you try and when you do and when you challenge yourself. That's the point, the process. And uh, everyone can write or draw or sing uh, if they wish. Uh, they don't have to show it to anyone if they are afraid of critic, but uh, just like children do. Uh, they know what is good. They know and find the value from a rock or a shell in a be on a beach and so on. And uh, they don't have to uh, ask it from someone else that what is good and what they like. They know it really well on their own. I have uh, doing hitchhiking sometime Years ago I started first to do that in Finland and then a bit in the Europe also and some other countries and uh, it's really a nice way to travel because uh, then you can meet different kind of people you wouldn't meet in the un any other way probably and uh, you can see, uh, see and meet and talk with the people who are having different backgrounds than you and, uh, and uh, they are 
uh, and all of them, even they are different. Uh, they are the same in this one thing that they are not too afraid of people because they actually took you in the in the car. And uh, this is something that uh, I want to prevent that people uh, come too afraid of each other. And uh, for this, uh, YouTube and uh, hitchhiking and uh, hospitality club and couch surfing are very similar. They are all uh, good ways to meet different kind of people, uh, change opinions, and make this uh, fear of another people, fear of stranger, go smaller and smaller. And I think that's a very important thing in this world right now. Some time ago, uh, I think it was some years ago, I was uh, walking with my friend in the street. And in one point uh, he said that uh, you are such a kid because you still have a, a imaginative friend, uh, actually one, like Erno. And Erno happened to be there at the same time too. And uh, he hit my friend to his face because I guess he gets really angry. Uh, Erno, I guess, thinks that he's very real. And uh, he punched my friend some way like this and my friend's glasses were flying in the air in a very cool way and uh, then I asked him that uh, do you really think that uh, imaginative friends uh, can do something like that like a punch you in the face and make your glasses fly into the air I don't think so so I guess uh, this is a good introduction to uh, to that this thing that is not very easy to define what is real and what is not and many things can be real when you just believe enough to those things you can ma make things uh, real just by believing and uh, I want to learn more about reality because I want to make more tricks more twist reality and uh, bend it to another direction and make illusions and uh, then I can make better tricks when I learn about reality and be a little bit better magician than now. I'm just a, in the, just a beginner and uh, trying to learn new things. So if you have any good points and uh, you have discovered many holes and uh, things in the reality, please tell me about them.